decides to do and shut the door, things are going down. Y'all, William himself is fueling the Rose Hannaberry rumors. If you guys don't know, reports came out that said Carol and Michael read into that Kate want some titles. Baby, we're going to do a separate video about that, but we need to talk about the way William is fueling divorce rumors with Kate and fueling this Rose Hannaberry was his peace, his Camilla, his past, his future, his everything. Do you know that William took George to a football game? Now, I will say this. Does William think that Charlotte, who is the sports fan, actually appreciates, appreciates anything? It seems like he's only caring about the spear, but that's what, I'm not the spear, the heir to the throne. That's what it looked like now, but forget all that, right? Because there was a picture of William showing up with George. Now, I'll do another video about it, but there was a handoff, it looked like, with uh, Carol and William, and that's how he got George. I will say it once, and I've said it again. I think that William is not taking care of those kids. I think that Kate and her parents are. I think the whales are in the middle of a divorce. Why? Charles is about to ascend to be king. Charles showed William, you don't have to stay with the woman that bore you kids. Be with the woman you want. And it seems like Rose Hannaberry is the woman he wants. Why? Because of the pictures of William at the soccer game with George. Now, when I first saw it, I said, William is so petty. Every single time Harry or Meghan pops up, side note, Meghan has announced she is doing a cooking show on Netflix. I think it's a great idea. You know, they're going to be mad seeing her just being sunshine, baking banana bread. That should be her first episode, baking banana bread. There's even going to be an episode on like the, the I don't know, Vuk uh Polo Classic. I think Harry's going to be doing that because, you know, Polo is Harry's thing. Okay. So, you know, William had to come out and stunt because last time he did that, Harry and Meghan announced something on Mother's Day. I think they went to Olvi, Texas or whatever. That's where William put up that fake picture of Kate. And well, Kensington Palace put up, which is William, put up the fake picture of Kate. Every single time, I swear to God, I think William's whole life is stunting on Harry. Okay, so you guys up to speed? Okay, so there was an image of William out with George. Okay, the only problem is the royal press cropped the photo. It's also disturbing that William is now trotting his horse, his uh, children out every time he needs to deflect. The only problem is the UK press cropped, cropped the picture out. Y'all, I'll say it again, right? The Mirror Royal and all the papers said Prince William and George was spotted on TV enjoying rare, a, a rare father and son evening. Um, he also tweeted to the lionesses. These are the women's soccer thing that went to the championship that William couldn't be bothered coming off a of vacation or even pretend it like he cared. But we all know that William is going to be the great work from home. He's going to be a Zoom monarch, okay? However, the thing that is most disturbing, shall I say, is William took Jack Evans, Jack for Evans on Twitter is reporting that Prince William took George to the villa game. He also took, a, took the son of Rose Hanbury. Not one of the UK scum media printed this photo. They all edited this boy out and no one mentioned his presence. Why not? William did this. She, he's saying that William is a bullying, selfish, uncaring weasel. I mean, listen, points were made. If you guys don't know who Rose Hannibury is, William is, Rose Hannibury is William's rumored mistress. Now she says it's nothing. They were having private dinners alone at Hutton Hall, which is where she lives without Kate. Why Kate was several months pregnant with her third child, Louis. Uh, Kate and Ro uh, Rose, according to the UK papers, had some sort of falling out, but it had nothing to do with her husband having dinner and tending rose bushes later on. Okay. Oddly enough, Rose was invited to the coronation and her children stood on the balcony with George. Okay. A lot of people have said, are those, is those kids Williams? Why are you doing so much to embrace the children of another person? Now, if it was someone else, I'd be like, okay, maybe they'll get friends, but William doesn't even talk to his own nieces and nephews. So whatever. That's why they're saying you go for a rare father-son outing and you have someone else's son with you. 
when did George become such good friends with him? Why are these the only kids that George is allowed to play with? Some people say maybe that is George's brothers. Maybe it's his stepbrother. I don't know. The point of the matter is, why is nobody talking about this? Why is nobody talking about this? What is going on with William and Rose Hanabury? They say nothing, but obviously they are very, 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 very close. Again, he was cropped out of all the major media pictures, cropped out of the photo. This is super, super interesting. But it also goes to show that the royal reporters just make a narrative and they keep with it. Interestingly enough, right? Um, uh, SK Skimmer, right? Rims, uh, anyway, said, glad the other lady's son was there too. He, they said it was a beautiful family outing. Again, why was Rose Hanabury's son actually there? Now, some people are saying, oh, well, that can't be um, Rose Hanabury's son with William. But I'm like, why not? It looks just like him. Again, what message is William trying to send? Now, interestingly enough, there's also a bunch of videos of George and William walking around. And Royally Shady on Twitter makes a very good point. They said this picture just proves that the average Joe and Jane would have taken out their phones at the farm shop if that was really, really Will and Kate. Let's also not forget that one of the things America said is if the, if you're on Windsor Farms, and that means that you are a royal fanatic, I guess. If you saw a woman that's been missing four months and she is royalty, which I guess is celebrity status over there, why wouldn't you pull your phone out and film? Because they said, oh, people respect the royal family. But if you see this pub, this picture, everybody in the pub, everybody has their camera phones out and they are taking pictures of poor George. The guys behind them, the people in front, but also, this quality is still better than what we were provided for the footage of, according to Real HP, the footage of Kate at Windsor Farms, but also the footage of Kate when she fueled, made that, I think, AI-generated video, um, according to the BBC, right? Again, they, listen, they said it's a trip out. It's, he has supervised access with the kid, um, Again, they said William looks on this uh, trip rough and wasted. But if he can show up to a game, he can stumble through a, a ribbon cutting. This is coming on the heels that a lot of people are being very, very critical about the way that now that they say Charles only has a few months, maybe years to live, William is announcing the way he is going to rule. And the way he is going to be rule is basically by co-opting Harry's life. He'll do what he wants when he wants all the stuff. The only difference is, unlike Harry, who was working for his money, William expects the money to be given to him. They said, uh, uh, listen, <laughs> Meghan and Harry fans said, William bought his son, George, who was third in line to the throne to some sort of pub. William is teaching his son to be just like him, a useless drunk. As it is, William has taught his children to disrespect their mother and, well, We'll talk about that anyway. They said, um, again, it's an interesting outing. I don't ever see why. Uh, I, I don't understand why that. It, it, it's just really weird. The one thing I do want to say is, and this is actually really, really important. I still want to know where Kate is, and I want to know why it seems like the Waleses are moving towards some type of divorce or some type of separation. Now, and again, will William be cold-blooded enough to leave a wife who's sick? Absolutely. Um, would the palace try to mitigate Kate and her family and make sure they have just a little bit, but enough to move on? Absolutely. Can William divorce a sitting queen? Absolutely not. Again, the more William comes out in these outings, the more we have to ask questions. And it's actually really sad and pathetic that because the palace wanted to punish the public, they didn't release a picture of Lewis on his sixth birthday. Spoiler alert. And nobody cares whether they got a picture or not. Were they punishing anyone? But also whenever he wants to, he conveniently trots, uh, trots out his kids as some type of, well, you get the point.
Anyway, you guys, I have a lot to report on Royal News. Uh, there's probably going to be two or three videos. Make sure you check those out. Talk to you later. Bye.